The sinking of the Titanic remains a captivating story as the supposedly unsinkable ship tragically met its demise, claiming the lives of over 1,500 individuals while the world watched in disbelief. However, amidst the well-known narrative lies a plethora of lesser-known facts, revealing how seemingly insignificant choices made in the blink of an eye ultimately led to catastrophic outcomes. So, without further ado, here are 40 intriguing details about the Titanic that deserve your attention. During the construction of the Titanic in Belfast, eight men tragically lost their lives and 246 others were injured, highlighting the dangerous conditions at the shipyard. The Titanic, known as the most expensive ship ever built, cost over $1.6 billion in modern money, taking 26 months to construct. Believe it or not, the owners of the Titanic were so superstitious that they didn't even want to name the ship or christen it with a champagne bottle. The addition of the fourth smokestack on the Titanic was purely for aesthetic purposes as the ship's advanced engineering only required three. The designers of the Titanic spared no expense when it came to the interior furnishings, especially in the first-class cabins, which were modeled after the luxurious Ritz Hotel in London, in the hopes that wealthy passengers would feel like they were in a luxury hotel rather than on a ship. To keep the Titanic's propellers running, a team of 200 firemen worked tirelessly in brutal conditions, shoveling up to 600 tons of coal and 100 tons of ash overboard, while the ship's onboard electrical plant produced more power than the average American power station. Feeding the crew and passengers on the Titanic's maiden voyage was a massive task requiring a large team of chefs and assistants, as well as an impressive stock of provisions. This included a staggering 40,000 fresh eggs, along with copious amounts of meat, cheese, and other necessities. Additionally, the ship's first-class passengers had access to an extensive collection of 12,000 bottles of wine and champagne, some of which remain untouched on the ocean floor. Contrary to popular belief, the Titanic was never officially advertised as unsinkable, although many people at the time believed it to be true. When the Titanic was built, space was allocated for 64 lifeboats, but only 16 were actually fitted onto the ship, a decision that seemed inconsequential at the time due to the belief that the Titanic was unsinkable. Unfortunately, this lack of lifeboats and training for the crew proved to be devastating on that fateful night in 1912. So, get this guys. On the morning of the Titanic disaster, there was actually supposed to be a lifeboat drill. But guess what? Captain Smith personally canceled it. Some say it was because he wanted passengers to attend a church service, since it was a Sunday. Talk about bad timing, right? But here's the kicker. Because of that decision, when things went south, the crew had no clue how to handle those lifeboats. Yikes. The gender disparity on the Titanic was striking, with only 23 female employees out of a crew of 885, most of whom were casual workers rather than skilled sailors. Captain Smith, a skilled and highly experienced seaman, had not planned on retiring right after the Titanic's maiden voyage, but rather when White Star launched a bigger and faster boat. Did you know that there were books written before the Titanic disaster that seemed to predict the tragedy? One of the most famous examples is a novella called Futility written by an American writer named Morgan Robertson in 1898, 
which tells the story of a ship called Titan that hits an iceberg and lacks enough lifeboats. However, some parts of the book were changed before it was republished in 1912, and there were also three real ships called Titania that were lost at sea in the 19th century, so maybe it's just a coincidence after all. On the Titanic, there were 13 honeymooning couples, including the well-known billionaire Jacob Astor IV and his pregnant teenage bride, who tragically perished while Astor valiantly tried to convince her to board a lifeboat. Did you know that the famous radio pioneer Marconi was supposed to be on the Titanic but decided to travel to New York earlier? However, his invention, the wireless, was installed on the ship and played a crucial role in saving lives. Marconi would later have another close call when he was on the Lusitania, which was sunk by a German U-boat. The Titanic, being an official mail ship, had its own sea post office on board, and the dedicated team of five clerks worked tirelessly to sort through the thousands of sacks of mail even sacrificing their lives to protect it. Before its doomed journey across the Atlantic, the Titanic made two stops, picking up additional passengers in Cherbourg, France, and Queenstown, Ireland. The menus from the Titanic's Last Supper reveal the extravagant 10-course feast enjoyed by the wealthy first-class passengers, featuring oysters, roast beef, French foie gras, and even cigars and pork. The Titanic was not just a ship, but a floating city with luxurious amenities. One of its unique features was its own newspaper, called The Atlantic, which provided first-class passengers with the latest stock prices, race results, and even the daily menu. Tragically, all copies of the Atlantic Daily Bulletin were lost in the sinking. During the Titanic's maiden voyage, 12 dogs were allowed on board, with only first-class passengers being permitted to bring their furry companions, and the ship even had luxury kennels for them. However, sadly, only three dogs survived the sinking, including two Pomeranians saved by their wealthy female owners. The Titanic famously received not just one, but six warnings of icebergs on the very same day it sank, with one message advising the crew that they were heading into dangerous waters, to which the Titanic replied with a simple, thanks. Due to a mix-up, the Titanic's lookout was left without binoculars to spot icebergs from the crow's nest, leading to speculation about the reasons behind this, including a crew reshuffle or a last-minute change in personnel. The iceberg that sank the Titanic originated from Greenland and took thousands of years to form breaking off in 1908 and eventually reaching the Atlantic shipping lanes in 1912, measuring around 400 feet in length and weighing approximately 1.5 million tons. The lookout, Frederick Fleet, spotted the iceberg and urgently called 6th Officer James Moody, who quickly changed the ship's course, narrowly avoiding a direct collision but still causing the iceberg to scrape the Titanic's side in just 37 seconds. Many passengers, including those in third class, were unaware that the Titanic had hit an iceberg and didn't think much of the collision until the water began to flood into the ship. Within 45 minutes of the initial impact, the Titanic had taken on around 13,700 tons of water and five compartments were flooded, making it clear that the ship was doomed. The Titanic took 160 minutes to sink, with the rate of flooding not being consistent throughout the ordeal. Initially, the ship listed rapidly, but then slowed down after the first hour, giving passengers hope that it would stay afloat. 
However, after two hours, the front section started sinking faster and the end was imminent. The evacuation of the Titanic was chaotic and poorly coordinated, resulting in unnecessary loss of life. One of the richest passengers on the Titanic, Benjamin Guggenheim, displayed bravery by securing seats on a lifeboat for his mistress and maid before returning to his cabin to dress in his dinner suit, accompanied by his valet, while calmly enjoying brandy and cigars on the deck. Witnesses testified that the Titanic band, led by Wallace Hartley, played in order to keep passengers calm, continuing to play on the deck even when it became clear they were going to die, although the claim that they played nearer My God to Thee remains uncertain, all band members perished, and Wallace was found wearing his evening dress with his instrument case still attached to his chest. The frigid water was so icy that being submerged in it would have caused most passengers to have a heart attack within minutes, leaving those without a spot in a lifeboat with no chance of survival. Only a fortunate 13 individuals were saved by the Titanic's lifeboats, including the remarkable head chef Charles Jowin, who managed to stay afloat for an astonishing two hours, crediting his survival to consuming a significant amount of alcohol as the ship sank. Captain Smith's unwavering determination to stay with the sinking Titanic until the very end while releasing his crew from their duties, showcased his adherence to the laws of the sea and solidified his reputation as a true British gentleman. Among the tragic losses on the Titanic were not only passengers and crew, but also a significant amount of fine wines, champagne, and even four large cases of opium, which were being imported for medicinal purposes despite being banned under American law. Among the literary treasures lost were valuable books and paintings, including a rare first edition of Francis Bacon essays and a signed picture of Giuseppe Garibaldi, resulting in significant losses to the literary world. The SS California, the closest ship to the Titanic, could see the distress flares, but its captain, Stanley Lord, failed to go to the ship's rescue, leading to the loss of hundreds of lives. The initial news reports about the Titanic sinking falsely claimed that no lives were lost, leading to one of the most infamous and inaccurate newspaper headlines in history. The mix-up occurred when wireless operators misinterpreted a message indicating that the rescue ship was okay, mistakenly assuming that all of the Titanic's crew and passengers were safe. However, the reality was far from it. Only a quarter of the victims of the Titanic were recovered, as four ships searched the area and retrieved 334 bodies, with 150 being buried in Halifax, Canada, while the rest, mostly from the steerage class, remained unidentified and were stored in icy rooms. Incredibly, just 29 days after the Titanic sank, a movie about the disaster was released, featuring an actual survivor, Dorothy Gibson, who had escaped on Lifeboat 7 with her mother. The film was a success, but tragically destroyed in a fire in 1914. The Titanic was discovered in 1985, but due to its location and the immense water pressure, it is unlikely that the wreck will ever be brought to the surface and is slowly deteriorating. The last survivor of the Titanic disaster, Elizabeth Gladys Dean, passed away in May 2019 at the age of 97.